Welcome back. You know, the John Ball Zoo is looking much brighter than it used to. Well, especially after the sun goes down, because a Luma Zoo is back. And this colorful event is perfect for families and those looking for a night out without the kids. We've got Bailey, Megan, and they brought their friend Tiffany with them <laughs> this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Our pleasure. Thanks for having us. Oh, I love that. Tiffany is a fan. We're going to get to you, Tiffany. You just hold tight for a <laughs> second. First, got to talk about a Luma Zoo. We'll talk about this living lights at Luma Zoo. And, and you brought some new things in for those who have been to this before. Yeah, yeah, there's some new interactive displays that are really awesome. We have some old favorites like the um, fobbles they're called. So oh, that's the, the fog um, <laughs> filled bubbles. Right. Uh, so we still have those. Um, and then we also have an adult themed um, night for just adults, mm -hmm. uh, Roaring Nights plus Living Lights, Halloween Spooktacular. Okay, so tell us about that event mm -hmm. and you know how it's a little different. Obviously, just adults are involved, but but tell us how how what's the allure there? Yeah, so it's it's a big combination of a lot of things. So um, it's a combination of our Roaring Nights, which is adults only. There's adult beverages, um, and so it's 21 and up. And then um, it also combines the living lights. So you'll be walking the one mile trail through the zoo. Um, and then also we've added kind of a Halloween element to that. So there will be a contest, a costume contest at 7 p.m. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun. So is this one night or will, be, will it be a series? Because I know the it's, Roaring Nights is a series, right? Yes, yeah. Roaring Nights has been a series and then Living Lights um, is multiple nights. Sure. But this uh, Roaring Nights, Living Lights, <laughs> Halloween Spooktacular is one night. One night. What day is yep. that? Thursday, um, October 27th. October 27th. What a night out that is going to be. Uh, now, when you come out to these Roaring Nights, are there any interactivity or is there any activity with the animals? Do you have ambassadors out? Uh, I don't think that we will have any out no? for um, so this So Tiffany's going to be well behind glass. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay. So Living Lights is, um, it kind of, it celebrates wildlife. Um, a lot of the lights displays really mimic um, bioluminescent species. And mm -hmm. so there's a lot of uh, nature wildlife element to that, but our animals are um, sleeping at that time, so, <laughs> so I wouldn't expect to see too many. Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep them, keep them, you know, under wraps in the dark, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so tell us a little bit about Tiffany, um, a black rat snake, beautiful snake. Yes, thank you. This is Tiffany, the black rat snake. He is 18 years old. Oh my gosh. This is a species that you could find right here in Michigan, although if you went looking for them right now, you'd have a hard time. Many of them are starting to hibernate. So this is a cold-blooded animal. They can't survive without the heat, so usually the species would be underground sleeping by now. Is it wow. normal? Uh, see, I just learned something up like I always do. Is it normal for snakes to hibernate? Oh, absolutely, okay. especially here in Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, we have that extreme extremely cold winter, so <laughs> they can't really survive without that heat, so they're right. going to go to sleep all winter long. So they burrow down in there and they just, like the bears, wow. they're, they're right. going to come out when it gets warmer. Yep, exactly. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Man, that sounds like a good deal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to Just go underground and forget about winter, right? <laughs> Love that you have, uh, well, Tiffany here with you, and we learned about the adults only night, but let's talk about these families and coming out to Aluma Zoo. It's, there's still time. I know it's hard to talk about memberships especially when the season's kind of wrapping up but we bought a family membership recently and we kicked ourselves for not doing it year sooner yeah there's really no bad time to get a membership because it lasts for a year after your purchase right um, they also make fantastic gifts for people around the holidays mm. um, it's a really great gift because you're giving them you know an experience that they can have more than once all throughout the summer so there's really no bad time to get a membership. You can you can still get a membership right now and still enjoy the benefits for the rest of the season. And I'd say this is a really good time to get one because if you buy a membership now, you don't have to worry about in the middle of the summer next year. I mean, you got yeah. the entire season next year totally. to enjoy for the family. Well, we've, we've loved coming out, yeah. Ab absolutely. And But people need to be, buy tickets for these events ahead of time. You recommend them doing that, especially for the roaring nights, right? I mean, yep. People should get yep, online. Yeah, we do recommend it. Um, for Living Lights, the tickets are timed in order to kind of control that traffic. Mm -hmm. So um, we do recommend getting them online, but you can purchase them in person at the gate as well. Okay. And I, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but do you have any idea how many miles of lights you have put up over the past? I mean, when you go there, it's just, it seems like you guys have been working for months yeah. putting all of these lights. <laughs> Endless I mean, lights. Like, where did all this come from? Yeah, yeah. We work with Blue Water, and they um, have been setting up those lights for a couple weeks now. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And Great what, what a payoff, though. Celebrate yeah. the season. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you both for being here. Thank you, mm -hmm. Tiffany, for being <laughs> such a fabulous guest. Uh, yeah, here's to hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> right? Living Cheers. lights, Luma Zoo. <laughs>
Oh, hibernation sounds wonderful. John Paul Zoo <laughs> is happening right now until November 13th. You want more information? Pretty easy. JBZoo.org. And of course, don't forget Roaring Nights and Living Lights and the Halloween Spooktacular. Yeah, that's coming up on the 27th. It's from 6 to 10. It is adults only, 21 and over. And again, you can just head to the website for more information and to grab some tickets. We'll be right back.